Hi guys. Bought this cheap plastic toy tank the other day and I'm going to see what I can do with it, see if there's anything useful I can do with it. At the moment it's just got a little push-along motor. So the first thing I'm going to do is see if I can power it, put a electric motor on there. And I've just been looking to see what electric motors I've got handy. Got one here I've used in some other projects. Not quite sure where it's come from. Probably a printer. Something like that. And I've put a bit of insulation off of a piece of power cable on the shaft to give it a bit of grip. Got a 9 volt battery here. So I think that will power it quite easily without having to do any modifications or any significant modifications. So just as a quick simple uh, project, all I'm going to do is get my hot glue gun out, hot glue that just there a little switch on it somewhere so we can turn the power on and off and we should have a powered tank. Just for a bit of fun I'm going to use this little single channel radio control relay set. This is the transmitter and that's the receiver with a relay it's actually supposed to be 12 volts, but it seems to work all right with the 9 volt battery. And that's the bit that will go to the motor, the on off switch. I don't know if you can actually hear it. Let's move that a bit closer. So, I'll be able to turn it on and off remotely. I can't make it go forwards or backwards, because it's only single channel. I could probably put a bit of external work there to give us forwards and backwards, but I won't bother. I'll just make it so we can turn it on and off remotely. I haven't glued the motor in place yet, but I'll just let you see what I'm doing. So, we're using a single 9 volt battery to power the relay set and power the motor. So the feed into the relay set is also my power feed for the motor. One leg of the power goes to the motor then the other leg of the motor goes to the switch and then the other side of the switch goes back to the other side of the power. That relay would take up to 240 volts, but we're just using it for the 9 volt DC. So now I'll hot glue the motor in place and it should work. Nice little bit of hot glue holding the motor in place. Don't know if you'll be able to see the wheels turning from there. But that should do for a quick test run. Quick test run in the kitchen. Remember this is just a single function. All it's going to do is drive forwards. Nothing clever at all. And we can stop it. <laughs> But we can't go backwards or anything, it's just a single function. Oh, 
I'm quite pleased with that for minimum effort we've now motorised that cheap plastic tank I could have done a lot more with it but I was looking for an excuse to try out that little radio con control relay set it's really meant for things like garage doors and remote locks and that sort of thing so I'll put a link to where I got it from on eBay it's just a single relay and a single function job done